this week on Cups of Convo. I sit down with my good friend and rising young actor, Julian Walker, the star of the critically acclaimed new film, Blackbird. We talk the movie industry, the sudden rise to fame, and his future plans on this episode of Cups of Convo. Julian, what you been up to, man? Thank you. How you been? <laughs> I've been good. I've been good. How was, that's what I needed to ask you about, like, what, what was the process on you getting the shit? Getting the role, like, did you just wake up one day and they're like, "Hey, Julian, go try out for this," or was it like advertised, or did you just hear from like somebody that told you? Um, honestly, this is how it happened. Um, it was when I first transferred to USM, actually, which was like two years ago. Now. Yeah. But um, one of my friends, he was like, "Hey, they're doing this movie audition. You should definitely check it out." So um, I waited until the last minute, but then I like recorded this really horrible audition on my laptop, <laughs> on my Mac, actually. And uh, I emailed it to the email address that was attached to the, the flyer or whatever. And it happened to be the director over the film's email address. So he was kind enough to email me back and give me pointers. And it was a really bad audition. But <laughs> luckily he gave me a second chance. And probably like a month later, yeah. that's when everything started happening. That's what's up, man. Because I was... I was just wondering, because I was like, I know Julian, i never known Julian to say he wanted to do acting. You know, I know that you could, I know that you could do a lot of stuff, man, you know, we used to joke about saying, Julian, like, he's supposed to be on Disney Channel and all that stuff. <laughs> but I never, you know, when I saw it, I was like, oh, okay, so he's legit. When I saw, you know, you behind the scenes with Monique and uh, Isaiah Washington and all that stuff, you know, that, that was tight to me, so... How was it like? Like when you first got on there, was you like mind blown? Were you calm? Were you cool? Or was like I was, was freaking out. <laughs> I was panicking. I was hot, having hot flashes, everything. Um, I remember the first scene I had with Monique. Yeah. Um, for some reason, like the whole first week of filming, where uh, all the emotional scenes were like. Yeah. And uh, I was doing nothing but crying every day. <laughs> and um, this is how. What well, uh, Monique called me before. Yeah. So we had a conversation, but I never like physically met her in person. So yeah. I just got done filming the scene, and the next scene was my first scene with Monique. So they were like, I could hear the people in the background like, all right, Monique's about to pull up. Okay, Monique's getting out the car. Okay, she's coming up the stairs, and I'll hear us and just going up. And so I'm sitting there like, just freaking out. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god is everything together? And then yeah. um, she gave me like the warmest embrace I have ever felt in my life. Yeah. Like, she was so amazing. She looked like she's soft and just motherly. Yeah, just motherly. Baby. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sugar. My baby. <laughs> like, she smells good, amazing. too. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Cups of Combo will be right back after these short messages. Hey guys, are you interested in being on the episode of Cups of Convo or know someone who should be? Well, hit us up at allnoorient at gmail.com and submit those entries. <laughs> well, yeah, man, like, what's the point? <laughs> behind Blackbird, like, a lot of people who haven't seen the movie, like, what's the message behind the movie, or, like, what's the point of the movie, period, like, what's the plot? Uh, basically, Blackbird tells the story of a 17-year-old uh, high school senior named Randy Russo, that's my character, and um, it basically just tells his journey uh, finding out himself, basically, and he's struggling with his sexuality and in a small religious town, and his mother is played by Monique, of course, and his father is played by Isaiah Washington. And basically, um, his sister went missing six years ago, so that tore his, fam his family apart. So his uh, parents are separated, and so his mom is like going through a lot of stuff, and then he's trying to figure out who yeah. he is as an individual. Yeah. And then it all kind of just comes out, and then a lot of stuff happens. With all that success, with all the fame, like I saw you all in New York and California this week, yeah. and you were flying back around, like, what does that do? Like, did it feel great? Was it still, like, unbelievable? Or was, I think, did you eventually get used to it? Honestly, when I did all of that, um, I was still a student. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I would go to class, and then when I would leave and go out of town, then it's like, my mindset was a click, and it's like, okay, I need to be in movie set. Mind. Yeah. And then when I go back to school, I'd be like, okay, I need to be in student mindset. So it's like, when everything was happening, I feel like it never really registered, yeah. because honestly, my main focus was school. Yeah. And it's like, if I would've gave too much focus to acting, then I would've fell behind, yeah. fell off. So everything really feels like a dream. Everything that yeah. I've done in this past year, yes, yeah. it's just... It's still dope. In your personal experience, like throughout life and things like that, like what's your message? Now since all this stuff is happening, what's your message? Julian Walker, the actor, the singer, the everything that I know you to be, you know, the group, the, the leader, the RH, everything. Like what's your goal 
in life? Like, what's like, what do you want people to understand about life and what they can do? Honestly, what I want people to understand is that, like, anything is possible. Mm -hmm. Literally and seriously, anything is possible. Like, if you believe it, if you want it bad enough, you can get it. You just gotta keep pushing. And sometimes you may feel like it ain't gonna happen, or sometimes you feel like it's you in the toughest situations and it's just everything's just falling apart. But it's like you gotta keep pushing and keep fighting for what you want because there was a point where I gave up on like yeah. singing and acting and all that stuff. And I wasn't going. I wasn't going to audition. I waited till the last minute to audition for this film. And it's like. If I wouldn't have done it, I wouldn't be where I am now. Yeah. So it's just like you gotta continue to have faith, you gotta continue to pray, have hope, and know that everything will be okay. All right, now we're about to do the game, hot cups, the fun round. Bring out our one of my coworkers, my help, Jessica, you know, <laughs> with the cups. Everybody say hey, Jessica. Jessica say hey, to everybody. <laughs> Boom. The deadly cups, hot cups. All right, you know how it works. You got a trip, you got a dare, and the most embarrassing moment ever. ever. Don't, don't think about it too much. Just do it. I'm gonna try to pick there. I'm gonna try to make you pick there. I should say. I got Ignacio. I got him. I made him pick the one I wanted to pick. So now it's on you. Okay. So here we go. I'm gonna go in. <laughs> you get to tell me what it is. Uh -huh. Is it there? <laughs> I told you. I'm cold with the cups. Oh I'm God. cold with the cup. Okay, who interviewed you? I'm going to be the one to set up the cups. Because oh I'm going to make them pick it every time. And for the people who did know my good friend Julian, besides Blackberry, he is a great singer. And he is an avid Chris Brown fan. Ah. So anything you want to sing, man, you know. Redeem the light skins. The dark skin singers are taking over. Okay, um, here we go. Well, I actually sing a song from the soundtrack for Blackbird that I had to do. Go ahead. Um, okay. <laughs> Will I get kicked out? Probably not. Okay. Um, thank you, Rossi. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, I'm nervous, man. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> See, I was just gonna go. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Let me say other time. No, yeah, you got it. Okay. All right. What is this feeling? Am I falling in love? It's got me reeling. I just can't get enough. Lord, I'm trying to resist it, but it's so damn insistent. What is this feeling? Ooh. Okay. On behalf of Noah, on behalf of everybody here, and of course myself, appreciate you for coming out, man. Thank you. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for it. having me again. You know. Glad it's good to link up, but before we go, you know, any shout outs, anything you want people to know about the film, about you, what you got next, you know, tell everybody. I'm gonna sit back. Let me okay. get out of the frame. This well, is all Julian. If you would love to know any more information about me, you can follow my Instagram page, which is julian.walker. Uh, my Twitter page, which is that guy Julian, T H T G U I J U L I A N. And um, Facebook me, Julian Walker. And also, Blackbird will be released on DVD and Blu-ray on August 4th. So make sure y'all go out and check it out and support it. And once again, thank you so much. I'm back. Peace. <laughs>